What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, JD Live, man. I'm live in effect, man. Hey, y'all see me with the Amazon vest. I still got my old vest, man, where I used to work at Amazon. I still got it, man. I literally had it in my dresser, and I just took it out and wore it for the video. So, by the title of the video, y'all know why. Y'all know why y'all clicked on it, man. Y'all trying to figure out why I stopped working at Amazon. Now, a lot of y'all probably seen it. A lot of y'all probably have not seen the video that I did post, and I posted my experience at Amazon doing very well on YouTube. Y'all can go check it out. Uh, I'll probably put a link to the video down below in the description so y'all could check it out if y'all didn't see it. It was a really good video. I just gave my experience working at Amazon. And this video, I'm going to be talking about why I stopped working at Amazon. I'm going to just give you guys my reasons. Disclaimer, I've got to put this out there. It's not bashing the company. I respect the company and everything. I'm not bashing Amazon. I'm just giving you guys why I quit. This is, this is why I quit. Is the reasons why I quit. Some of y'all probably quit for the same reasons. Some of y'all probably didn't quit for the same reasons. But I'm just going to give y'all reasons why I quit Amazon. So before we do, hit the like button for me. It does well for the channel so more and more people can see this. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new by clicking that red button. And yeah, let's just get right into it, man. So one of the reasons why I quit working for Amazon, honestly, it was just, well, a lot of y'all probably do know, uh, I worked in an Amazon warehouse. You know, I worked in a warehouse. Um, I was a sorter, picker, like all of those, you know, positions, right? Like just all of those, right? So one of the reasons why I quit is because during the summer, a lot of the times, it was the humidity in the warehouse. Now, me personally, I would never work in a warehouse again, ever. I'm just being honest. I'm put that out there. Warehouses have horrendous weather conditions man like regardless if it's really really cold outside really really hot you're gonna feel that weather you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all know whether it's real cold it's gonna be real real cold in that on warehouse whether it's real real hot you're gonna feel that humidity and you feel like you about to almost die like man the heat man another another thing is uh walking around constantly man i'm not gonna lie it felt like some days after my shift i wanted to go home and put some icy hot on my feet for real, you're going to be doing a whole lot of walking, constantly walking. You're walking around, sorting packages, uh, giving packages to the drivers, picking packages off the conveyor belt, whether you're a picker, you're a stoler, you're a water spider. I remember all those positions, man. Um, man, it was, there was traffic people, you know, people that was outside directing traffic, directing cars inside the building, all different types of positions that came with Amazon. So that's two of the things why I quit a lot of y'all probably are saying, well, you know, um, it did pay very, very well. You know, it paid um, when I was working there. When I first started, it was twelve fifty. Then it got raised up to fifteen dollars an hour. So that's really good pay. That's that's still really good pay, especially in this day and age, right? And I also heard during the whole crisis, it got raised up to like nineteen dollars an hour. It went up, you know. But uh, I heard people are also wearing masks as well while working currently right now in this day and age, but having to do it because of the the pandemic but personally it's just i didn't enjoy what i did you know i had no fulfillment in what i did i just felt like i was doing the same thing every single shift i mean some days you know you would switch and you would do different things but just for me personally it didn't it didn't bring no fulfillment like i didn't have an interest in it i didn't really like what i was doing it was very very simple as well it's not really complicated and you really don't need too much experience to even work there but I'm not bashing Amazon at all. I'm just I'm just being honest. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest and just say that it wasn't for me. But Amazon do have really, really good benefits. Like they have healthcare insurance, they have dental insurance, medical, all those great insurances. And that's why a lot of people do work at Amazon for the health benefits and the medical benefits as well, besides the money, you know. So it's a really good job, you know, if that's what you want to do. Because also I really I actually liked about Amazon is that Amazon, like, you weren't just sitting in one spot, but you were moving a lot. So it was really good, you know, for exercise. It was really good to, you know, walk around, get some cardio, lift boxes, you know, lift bags and, you know, build muscle a little bit. You know, it really does keep you in shape because there was people all ages, you know, working there. Like, I've seen some 60-year-olds work at Amazon, 50-year-olds, 40-year-olds, like all different age range, you know, constantly moving around constantly doing things, you know, walking around, uh, pushing by, like all different types of things. So like, I'm not bashing Amazon at all. I'm just saying for me personally, it just wasn't for me. 
like currently right now, I am an entrepreneur. I started my own business and I'm self-employed currently right now. So I enjoy, you know, doing what I do for myself. I like, I just like to work for myself. A lot of people like to work for somebody else because it's easier. They can get told what to do and they can get things done. That's good for other people out there. Just for me personally, the reason why I quit is because I've always wanted to work for myself. I wanted to be self-employed. I like to create my own schedule. I like to work when I want to work. I didn't like people telling me when I had to come into work, when I had to do things. So that's the reason why I left as well. And also, you know, I wanted to say one more reason why I stopped working at Amazon. Now, a lot of y'all who probably do work at Amazon, y'all probably know what Prime is. You know, Prime, I think it's like once a year. I think it's during the month of July. The one thing I didn't, the one thing that made me want to leave Amazon, that why I stopped working there as well, is that during Prime, that's when a lot of packages are being like ordered and everything that's being, that have to be, you know, picked and stowed or whatever the case may be in the Amazon warehouse. And a lot of people like don't really show up, you know, on that day. And like a lot of people have to put on the extra load and make sure to pick and stow the packages. And it'd be a lot of packages. And like, it's just, I don't know. I just felt like I was doing the same thing every day. And it just didn't, it didn't excite me. I'm the type of person that likes to be learning new things, trying out new things, not just doing the same thing over and over again. I want, I wanted more like excitement for, for some reason for me, it felt like I was doing just the same thing. Like I was kind of like a robot. Like I just, I just felt like I just couldn't, you know, really maneuver how I really wanted to maneuver in the warehouse. I kind of just, you know, had to stick to the plan, stick to what I got to do. And then sometimes, you know, you may deal with coworkers who are like uh, slacking off, who are not like really serious. And you kind of have to deal with it because you got to work with them. Y'all are considered a team. Y'all got to work together to complete the mission, you know, uh, send out as many packages you guys can to the actual driver so they can go deliver the packages to people's houses and stuff like that. And so on and so forth. Soding, water spottering, picking, all of that. Like it's all like an assembly line. Everybody's a team. Everybody's doing uh, different things to get the job done. So you guys got to depend on each other. And sometimes people didn't really want to depend on each other. Some people wanted to just be, you know, by themselves, you know, or have an ego. Like that's some things you got to deal with when working a job, working for a company like Amazon. But yeah, uh, that was definitely another reason why I wanted to leave. And that's why the reason why I did leave. And I didn't even put my um, two weeks in. I kind of just left because just personally, I just, I just knew it just wasn't for me. And I'm not bashing a company. I'm not hating on the company. But at the end of the day, like, you got to do what's best for you. If that's what you want to do, if that's what you like to do, if that's what supports you and supports your family, and that's what you want to do, you go ahead and do it. If it's not for you, then don't do it. You know, like, do what's best for you at the end of the day. You know what I mean? That's just my message. Sometimes the management as well. You know, that's where it comes with also. And, um, yeah, other than that, I would say... Management, in, in my opinion, you know, it wasn't really the best, in my opinion. Just where, where I worked in a facility, it wasn't really the best, you know. But that's anywhere you go, you know, you're going to have difficulties with management. Some management is really good and respect you and some don't. You know, it, it, that just comes with working for somebody else. And that's just, it is what it is on that part. But also, uh, yeah, like I said, it just I just felt like it just wasn't for me, you know. In my opinion, I feel like higher pay money isn't everything you know i feel like everybody in life should find something they actually enjoy what they do like i would much rather take a less pay cut and doing something i enjoy doing than to be making more money doing something i hate doing so that's why i left because even though i was making really great money at the time i didn't enjoy what i did i had no passion i didn't have no interest in it and i was doing the same thing it was you know what i mean and plus i was getting older so i wanted to actually pursue a career because i knew that amazon for me personally was just a you know, like a job where you can just do uh, part time, you know, it's a little stepping stone so you can get to your career because there's nothing wrong with working a job and getting that experience, you know, working for somebody else so that it can better you to become like successful in your career or get into entrepreneurship or whatever the case may be. So that's pretty much the reasons why I stopped working at Amazon. It's pretty much the end of the video. If this video helped you guys out, you let me know in the comment section. Y'all let me know why y'all left Amazon. A lot of people on my video my experience working at Amazon in the comments, y'all was saying how y'all left Amazon in a week, two weeks. I was there for a whole year. I'm not going to lie, I was in it for a year. But uh, the one thing I do miss about Amazon is some of my coworkers I used to work with. 
but that was pretty much it about Amazon. I also like the benefits as well, I'm not gonna lie, but I do get benefits now, so it's okay, you know, I'm doing better for myself, but yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. More videos on the way. Daily Fire videos on the way. So y'all subscribe. Thank y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace. Let's